What is up, everybody? Kyle here. I'm with three guests today: Colby, <laughs> Burns, <laughs> and Jimmy. And Burns is gone. Oh no! Yeah. Thank you. What's Thank new? you for having us on your show today. No problem. No problem. I get you. Know, I will say I watched. I don't know what the, happened. I watched the entire solo show the other day, and you really you did, you did excellent. Damn. Thanks. Appreciate that. You did good. I watched the first ten minutes, and I thought it was pretty good. Thanks, babe. Check yeah. this out. Check this out. Check this out. So we just started, and look what I got delivered from Ashley. Is that egg what? sandwich? That is an egg sandwich, dude. So you know these. It's these, hard to see it in the light, but you know these Texas uh, toast too. You can't beat that. No, no, no. It's on thin toast. It just looks big in the camera. Yeah. It's not the uh, Texas toast, big. but you guys oh know God. like shaker cups, right? Yeah. Underrated feature no one but me uses. Use this as a handle, dude. <laughs> what? <sighs> Man, I wish uh, I wish my screen wasn't like all choppy and shit right now. It almost... so how, how's how's the show been going, Kyle? Oh, it was great. It was a little uncomfortable at first, and then I just—I mean, you watched it, then I just flowed with it, you know. No, I, I you just have, rocked. You have plans it. to do your own? Well, with even it. before, um, even before doing it solo, I wanted—I I mean, I've talked about. It. I said I want to do like a podcast entry. Like just based off, like just like go through like you know like the phases of like of like YouTube and all and all that stuff and like you know other stuff I've gotten into. Not necessarily like a current event or whatever. Like a bullshit. It's called an evergreen podcast. An evergreen podcast. You yeah. know, I I I've tossed it around before, but I actually enjoyed. I if I did my own, it wouldn't be no hour. I would just get my point across and then move on to like the next episode. Those are the most popular podcasts, dude. If I mean, you did them, if you did it live probably. as well, that way you could interact with people live on comments and give you something to. Yeah, well, see, but it wouldn't on. be like that because it would be like an explainer type th thing. You know, oh. it's more like, you know, like I have a like bunch the crime of crime ones. Yeah, yeah, like I have a bunch of stuff written down that I want to like that I want to hit on. Um, you know, just tons of stuff like YouTube, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram. Uh, some funny stories throughout the years, like the YouTube money side of things, the Facebook money, um, like being terminated, um, you know, like how I came up with like little kid pranks, the prostitute prank, like just kind of like a, a bio. Is Sounds it, like you have a lot to share. Well, I just think it'd be cool kind of just like, you know, closing, I'm pretty much closing down besides like Instagram, like the creator side. So, you know, I, I would want people to be like, like when people ask me, I'll just be like, hey, I, you know, because I still get the questions all the time. Why don't you post anymore? What happened? Even like what happened to Cody, even though that was like five fucking years ago. Like people ask me all the time Aaron, and, and I would Aaron. love to just link this, link it in all of my things and, um, you know, kind of just let the people go. You know, if somebody says, you know what, like, why don't you post on Facebook much anymore? I link them the Facebook one, you know, just kind of. We got screwed, people. So what is what is the status of dudecomedy.com? We're actually, uh, I mean, it's live. It's banned. It's so do comedy.com. The C O M is, uh, permanently banned on Facebook, but we have, no, it's not anymore. We figured out that it's not. I'm oh, just I saying, it was. I what's the status my... of, of doing the website? What's the status of Mr. Technical difficult to Facebook? Well, I still use the Facebook. I'm mainly like waiting, um, like for the games like the game stuff because i have i don't have interest like i used to always post on the facebook page i'd go out and reach out to people um and i uh, mainly to post like to use their content to build up the page but i don't really like have like interest really in that anymore. i mean obviously more followers the better but there's i mean facebook just with their algorithms like 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 i posted a video the other day two million views but it was just just for people to watch there's nothing necessarily there's no monetary backing well so actually right now i am if i wanted to because pretty much anybody with over ten thousand followers on facebook um in like a certain amount of views can get monetized on facebook now like a lot of my buddies and stuff but so basically mine there's like three check marks mine passes all of them but like one and so basically i would have to go through and delete a lot of videos and so basically when a video goes viral on on facebook or something you know and then after it hits its peak it's done like it doesn't it just sits there stationary uh, so i don't care about deleting all the videos but then i'm like do i want to go back down that road of you know 
basically you know i'd have to create having content. your nuts in their hands yeah yeah do i want to like do i want to go you know I, I might do it just to just to see what it's all about you know they have some decent um cpms and stuff but i through this whole thing i kind of realized like I, i'm more somebody that wants to go and do something different like i was just showing you guys um the prototype for my new project that i'm working on and it's way yeah. different than anything i've ever done um uh, but it's so much funner than you know and I, it took me a while to realize that like, me and colby did the facebook stuff forever and there's not a word yeah what more fun it's more fun yeah whatever um but basically like even when we're still killing it on facebook you know i just when i talk complacent with i've it, talked really. about like when i finally bought like my dream house like it was probably like I'm not gonna say depressed. Like I wasn't like, ooh, like fucking like, like I didn't have any issues. But I'm like, I was just kind of like, now what the hell do I do? You know, like isn't it crazy where when we all met, where everybody was, where everybody like transitions, everybody's gone through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Burns, is, Burns is a semi-retired Twitch streamer now. I don't even know how you found me, Jimmy, to begin with. How Funner we... is a word. Kyle was right. No, it's Funner. not. No, it's yes, not. It's I'm on the dictionary. Fun. No, it's your. No, it's not. Let's yep. see here. It says funner I is feel a like, I feel like eventually the form of fun. You're looking up fun. the dictionary that pacifies everybody, not the is actual funner word. a word. It says that it's uh funner is not a word because fun is a noun. Oh, I'm on one that fun. says well, anyway, funner is a regular comparative of the adjective fun. The how did we how did we meet Burns? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did ask. I meet Burns first or Kyle first? Me, I, I think, think Burns. You saw he was getting those the, views. You, were and you the said, "Hey, you want to be friends?" Of I was a partnering manager for Yaosh, and I hit you up to to get you in the network. Uh, and yes, then you sir. said, "Did it work?" You said, "Come on, yeah, yeah." And then you said, "Come on, let's go troll this lady and her kid." And we made the mom throw away all the kids' games. And that you was the dicks. beginning of. It. I don't remember where we met Kyle. I was same thing. I was, was through Yaosh. I was watching, I was no. watching Kyle. I saw Kyle oh, was, in Woody's uh, tournament. Yeah, Woody's uh, March Madness. I was partnered with yeah on my my gaming channel because basically I had my main channel, and then I had my I had two side channels that weren't partnered that I got partnered with Yaosh. Yaosh. So my Kyle and the, Mo, and the White Lightning do Kyle. Your big one. So you did some other ones. Well, I don't think I could do. I don't think I could do the the smaller. I'm not sure. I think I created those channels for Yaosh because I only had the one. Yeah. And I, I think I, first, I remember that first contract though, dude, like, you know, YouTube already takes their cut off the top and then it was what like, was it like 65? Yeah, it, 50, 50, it was 50, 50, dude. And then after like six months, you were like, I wouldn't get you like the 90, 10 or whatever. Yeah. There was, there's still, oh, look at that Burns. I, that was nice of Jimmy. I still, I always try to take care of these guys. I got Burns. I stood up for Burns. And I think it got him some money from some somebody that was. Oh, oh yeah, it was that. Uh, it was video the, uh, games channel. Video games channel. Yep, they yeah. owe me five grand. Dude. Oh yeah, they. Uh, yeah. Well, they, they owe like always, everybody money, dude. Yeah, we talked talk about that before on this. Stick up for these dudes. Marco. Those are the dudes that got sued, right? The yeah. video games channel guys sued no. the other guy. So the dude that originally created. Uh, the Marco dude sued my friend Drew, who took yeah. over the channel and actually made it a good channel. And then, uh, so Marco had it first. He sold it to Drew, and then after it blew up, they realized the Marco dude realized like there was no like true like paperwork done, like nothing legally. So yeah. Drew blew the page up, and then Marco and then the in the tent dude sued sued drew because there's no like legal paperwork and they actually won what a world we live in dude that's the best terrible who's the in the who's the in the tent dude who's the in the tent the dude in the tent the tent guy um futuristic hub yeah does he still do that i don't think he's on the internet much anymore yeah he was hitting me up to post his video game his uh sexual videos oh yeah it's got 3.1 million views Futuristic Hub is. Oh a, my God! It averages four thousand views a video. Wow. But he was like trying to get me to post like his Minecraft like sex he, videos on my Facebook. Futuristic page. Hub still gets a lot of views on his videos. One point five million from a week ago. Really? What are you? What yeah. were you just looking at, Jimmy? Video games. Video games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's his name? Jimmy, that uh, that channel we sold is not even a channel anymore. 
It, what, we looked it up a week or two ago. It's violated YouTube's community guidelines. <laughs> it's kind of been terminated. Which one? I the hate one. Troll Ark. It, well, well, it, we sold it as Troll Ark. It turned into a Mr. Skin CSGO site or something. Yeah, something like that. Every time I see somebody that has their channel terminated, I get like PTSD. That man just spent 10 grand on that channel too. Who is the dude? It used to be Best Cod Shots or something. It's a Fortnite channel and it just kills it. BCC trolling. Yeah, that used to be Best Cod Shots. I think so. Well, th there's one that talk there's... about transitioning from Troy. This dude, this is this is insane. This guy literally gets three million views a video. Post uh, daily. Hey, best OTT cod, comedy. No, best, best cod comedy. OTT comedy sponsored by Mr. Technical Difficult is now called Fortnite Daily. What? Look at the look at the. you check. guys are part of that one though. Ah, uh, it's a dead. Oh, channel. I know, I know. BCC trolling. I watch the videos sometimes. No, I'm I saying OTT OTT comedy. Yeah, the yeah, top yeah. video is Kyle talking about it, and then the second top video is uh, YouTube will talking about it. Yeah, and they still post. No, 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 no. There's no videos on the channel. Uh, it's just one Fortnite video on the channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but isn't it, how is like? I wonder if he gets a lot of copyright claims though. So the, he, has people Ninja, submit, he has people submit clips to him, but he's got like Ninja stuff up there too and all that. So Ninja pull, pulls up this one, it's Twitch Moments. And I'm like, oh man, I wonder how many views that guy gets, right? His thing's just called Twitch Moments. Dude, some of his videos, here's one right here. I'm gonna pull up before I just spout it out. So he does like the uh, Ninja says why he didn't ruin Fortnite, like those types of ones or whatever. So some of them have like 2 million views. And it's just a uh, one 30 second clip from Twitch. And then the rest of the nine minute video is just bullshit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's clips, but it's not like, you know what I, I mean? I can't believe YouTube allows that shit to happen. That's insane to me. How those people make like hundreds of thousand dollars a month too. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, so, it's insane to me how they allow that shit to go down. So the Fortnite focus dude, he does it to Fortnite hub. This is why Ninja said Fortnite is ruining it. This is Ninja's react. Dude, there's like, I'm not but, exaggerating. There's 10 different, but ones a lot of that stuff is just completely day. made up. Like they just think of like a catchy title. Like, like Ninja said, why this is the worst gun ever, but he well, doesn't actually, is, it's is, just like, he's like, Hey, this man, fuck this gun. He says something like that. And then it's all bullshit. It, yeah. And the thing well, is, is, like, it's yeah. probably clean to use at least his clip because it's probably like a four second clip and, you know. And they sourced it, whatever. This one is Ninja and Nick Mertz hate the new twil Tilted Towers. It's ruined. And then the title says RIP Tilted. This is why. And then it's Nick Mertz saying it's ruined. And if you click on the clip, I just fast forwarded to it. The only part of those two on there is 22 seconds. <laughs> yeah. So what's interesting is, like, like are these people... You know, like some of these people transition from doing that shit from COD, but like these people obviously know what they're doing and they're really yeah. fucking good at it, you know, because mm -hmm. they were probably the same exact people doing the same shit for Call of Duty videos. You know, now they've moved on to this and like, like other people try to mimic what they're doing, but they can't fucking do it. You know, like if I it went and tried to certain science for sure. Yeah. If I went and tried to do that, you know, like it probably wouldn't work, even though it's basically the same lines as like. It's like when me and Colby would make articles and stuff, like we would definitely over exaggerate shit. We wouldn't blatantly just lie like some of these people do, but like there definitely is like a massive science to like what, you know, like me and Colby know, like, yeah. like yeah. a 20 year old person that's going to click on this article, you know, that person knows like, all right, this, this nine year old kid is going to click on this shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We knew how to like title, we knew how to title stuff that like, so we wouldn't uh, like, we never like would, lie lie but if it was something that was like oh this is a pretty decent like like fight video but you're not just gonna get somebody to click on like check out this dude knocking out this guy yeah so we would title it like guy finds the dude who hit up his girlfriend on twitter dms yeah and like wait you gotta have some form of like story to it it's way more but interesting the the craziest thing, like still to this day, I think about this. Well, I'll see like like old articles and stuff, but like it's crazy how like we would say something and then all of these outlets would go report it as like the real story and stuff. Yeah. And, like, but what? So Kyle and I never. Yeah, you were you were manipulating mainstream media. Our shit oh, was yeah. like on the radio. It's like that yeah. fake article we made up about 
about uh, blowjob. The blowjob, uh, Playboy blowjob one. Yeah. Um, that was on Playboy, like playboy.com, like with a legit <laughs> source back to dude comedy, 100%, like just ripped off the text and just someone sat there and got paid by Playboy to paraphrase, create their own part of the text, then source us and then s- s- then post it to their website to all their viewers. That's crazy, man. Apparently Sharknado is real now. No, what? that's hoax, hoax. Look at Reports Jimmy from the, the NOAA aircraft show sharks have been lifted into hoax. hurricane floor. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. <laughs> Jimmy fell for it. Jimmy fell for the fake news. I think there's sharks in the hurricane. No, hey, not. what's this thing going with uh, Norm McDonald? I see everybody freaking out about it. you guys. See that? I didn't see I saw, what he did. I don't know what's going on. He made Burn like he made like insensitive comments about like the because he's friends with that like C.K. Lewis dude. Yeah. And he said like he said all his victims their lives didn't get ruined like C.K. Lewis's lives got life got ruined. <laughs> Oh no! And then I, he, and then, I mean, I too. think it's funny. You, I mean, if you know Norm Macdonald, like you can't take him seriously. But then he said, uh, he said he compared people like something like something to people with Down syndrome with the Me Too movement or something. Oh, you know, the, funniest, the funniest Norm Macdonald thing I ever seen was on his podcast, and he was doing a uh, Dollar Shave Club ad. And he was like, he was like talking about, I can't remember like exactly how he was like phrasing that, but he's like, these knives are so sharp. And like his guest was like, are they really like that good for like a dot, like, you know, $5 a month or whatever. He's like, yeah, they're so sharp. You can slit your wife's throat with them. (laughs) (laughs) So the thing with the comedy is like, it's in a weird spot right now with how sensitive everybody is. Like, uh, like, uh, what's his name? So Michael Che, he's the the black dude on the Saturday Night Live weekend update. Yeah. You yeah. seen him? So he had a uh, a comment about a Netflix special that comes up as like a featured comedy stand up, right? Mm-hmm. And during this girl's stand up for ten minutes, she tells like a very detailed story about like getting raped, mm-hmm. you know, and then how it like made her into the like you know whatever. And he basically says like comedians always have each other's back. We don't step on each other, yada yada yada. But we have to draw the line somewhere, and this is like it. You can't like this is not comedy. Like this isn't you can't come up here and tell a story and then get lumped in with comedians because you make us all look like well that's what some people like to they like to hide behind the fact that anything can be considered comedy no matter how far yeah. they push it it's a joke bro it's yeah a joke. and people today they couldn't handle george carlin you know no, you guys, hell no, dude. <laughs> rest in peace george that dude yeah. was raw he was so funny dude i, I mean just know, like dave I, chappelle I when i Ch- heard of him Chappelle George stuff Harlan? used to be crazy. Maybe if I saw him. Oh, you'd, you'd go start watching him on YouTube. You'd be like, I like this dude. Um, the old, like, 80-year-old looking guy that just super, super savage comedian, like, would say huh. anything. Um, but what I was getting at with Nora McDonald is, you know, his, like, co-buddy from all this shit, Artie Lang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that he is, like, the high voice, high-pitched voice or whatever. You guys know uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah. So look at I don't know if you can see this, but look at his fucking nose. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, no, but hey, the thing no, it's just like that. I think he snorts a lot of coke. But you should, was uh, Norm McDonald the one that Jimmy Kimmel used to be partners with and they did girls jumping on trampolines? The no, man that's show? uh Adam Carolla. The oh, man yeah. Show. That's God, talk about transitioning to the big stream. That's what Jimmy I always Kimmel. think with Jimmy Kimmel. How does he how do they Dude, allow seriously. him? Like how, his show was literally like the worst. All right, you could never put a show on TV like that again. It just closes never. out with girls with fat titties jumping on, on trampolines. trampolines. Yeah. Um, Dude, they they made an entire show that was like the opposite of politically correct. Uh, speaking of pillows business. and cushions. Oh, well, nice. Say what well, before I get to that, but uh, wasn't Andy Milanakis on that show too? I don't remember. Uh, he might have been. Oh yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, he. They would do because he, he looked like a kid, so he would go yeah. on the streets. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of getting a beer. better night's rest. Hey, yeah, today's show is sponsored by Lisa. Do you find yourself distracted, forgetting things, making mistakes at work? A quality night's sleep makes all the difference. The right mattress is the difference between resting and just laying down. The right mattress is the Lisa mattress. The Lisa mattress is the product of more than 30 years of experience in mattress engineering and hundreds of hours of testing. Comprised of three foam layers that provide cooling, pressure relief, body contouring, and support. The Lisa mattress is the best mattress at the best value. Over 300,000 happy Lisa sleepers that agree, 
The Lisa mattress gives them the rest they need. Order your Lisa mattress online at lisa.com slash do comedy and try it risk-free for 100 nights. It ships direct to your door in a convenient box with free shipping and free returns. Buy Lisa for a fraction of the cost of a traditional mattress. Find the right mattress for you at lisa.com slash do comedy and get the rest you need tonight. Don't miss Lisa's limited time, la limited time Labor Day sale. Get up to $235 off and free shipping on the Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash do comedy. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com slash dude comedy the True. only mattress of the dude comedy show yep i i still stand by it i i mean obviously they want what us you got to... there colby it's the pillow saved my uh daughter from uh hitting the floor two days ago in the oh morning. so lisa let saves lives all right <laughs> that's what you're saying lives. Lives. it's not just a mattress it saves lives check this out dudes oh that Ooh. thing's pretty sick what's that look like to you though Looks like a PlayStation scuff controller on an inferior console. Oh. That, console that console is doo-doo, dude. It looks like cotton candy. I don't know. What do you mean? What does it I've look been like? playing it, but you, I, a little bit of Blackout, but a, uh, God of War. God, I cannot believe. I, I'm a believer in their exclusives because those, that, those, amazing. those games are just immaculate. But don't, uh, I don't want to talk about it right now, but don't let me forget Serena and Mice. But um, Blackout Demo. Huh? Oh, Serena, it's pretty I can't sweet. Wait to hear Kyle's take on Serena. Dude, you fast playing, collapse Kyle? mode. Fast collapse mode. We got a win on stream this morning. and had seven kills. You, you I was getting literally the other day. Sweaty. I haven't felt like that in a long time. Uh, we were getting bopped when we first tried that yesterday. Oh, yeah. We were getting crushed. The thing is, it's to me, it's still nothing comparable to Fortnite. Not even close. But but with that being said, do you not agree that? that it's for 80 people on a cod engine 88 people it's running really really good for yes me. yes it, really it's way better way smoother than PUBG. Yeah. from Six my experience months, it, could be, it could be formidable yeah and, and i just think it's awesome cool concept but to me it's it's a battlefield with a storm you know it's like i mean i think it's still way smoother than battlefield i had i really enjoyed playing it does you played it ba battlefield the beta no, 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 no. I just meant the PUBG. old battlefield, like just like the oh. big, you know. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's cool. But I don't think it's like changing. Am I gonna play it? Probably, a, you know, a decent amount. Yes. But do I think it changed anything? Not necessarily. It's just a. It's, it's just a better. It probably Fortnite. killed PUBG. It's not. It's, it's probably, gonna kill PUBG. Oh, it probably yeah. killed PUBG. It's not a Fortnite killer. But I, I don't think, I don't think that uh, you should. Uh, not you personally, Kyle, but I don't think people like in the industry should judge the game's success on Fortnite because I feel like it's such an unfair. It's but almost they like do. trying. I know, I know, but that's just like it could be the second best game, but Fortnite is just like it's so kid friendly. And well, that's another going. reason why it explodes is because it is kid friendly. Like lots yeah. of people just won't allow their kids to play Call of Duty. But well, yeah, if, Call of Duty is like a real. You pick up a real gun. It's not a glowing yeah. gold gun that you're running around yeah. with, like a character who has pink hair and a guitar on their back. There's still just there's just not really anything innovative to it. Like it is it, to me, it's just a smoother battlefield, and you know you can do all the vehicles and stuff. But you know there's a storm, you know, which is cool. Um, but that's about it. Like. I, you know, it'd be cool. You know, even even a battlefield, you can destroy the environment. Like, like I just found myself, I guess, just chopping trees. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like felt like I needed to chop down trees, but they're just like, just like there's just the element of being able to change the landscape with your character. Just is is what is you know childish as Fortnite can be is like what makes that's what changes everything. You know. Like it would be, yeah. It, I mean, I don't know. It, it was uh, I fun. Like I had to, fun, but I didn't need it. I feel like they need to change the armor on there. Even if they had to take a page out of Fortnite's book with shields, because like, even if you get level three armor, you're never gonna find it for the rest of the game, anywhere. Really? So if you get, so if you get it cracked off of you, you you're just you're fucked the rest yeah, of the match. Dude, you are you are a juggernaut with it on. Huh. I saw Literally, dude, it's like, juggernaut armor. You get you get level three armor in a trauma kit. Yeah, I ain't gonna last long. See, I did. I was at first. I was like, there's like everything looks the same when you're picking it up off the ground. I'm like, what the fuck is this stuff? There's a lot of stuff they gotta they gotta get it to where you can pick up without looking down. You spend half the game looking down. Yeah. At, at stuff. 
the inventory system, I mean, I, I think they need to work yeah, on Yeah, a little more. clunky, but I, I mean, but it's it's fun. Definitely, yeah, and it's, it's definitely be, it's definitely yeah. fun, a hundred percent. You but it's YouTube, getting people to talk about COD again. YouTube, oh yeah, it's it's trending. YouTube just tweeted out that it's okay to take a vacation if you're a creator. The Creator Inside team did research. When YouTube channels took two weeks off from publishing videos, views from the returning week were higher than those week before they took a break. So go on vacation. YouTube will be there for you when you get back. That is They're, the biggest thing of horse shit. I have retarded. watched channels die from taking two weeks off. Well, the thing I, is, you're not uh, getting the views from the week or two that you're off. So, uh, you know, you're obviously going to get a little boost in views, but I bet you they see a decline after that first, like, comeback. Same with like when I tried to like come back on YouTube, even though I was way longer than a couple weeks, like that first video. So basically on my main channel, I haven't posted in like a year. I'm going to come back when my game is ready, act like I'm fucking busting out of this cave, you know, act like I've been, you know, just my head down for the last year making this game. And I'm going to do it the first video because I know that video is going to get the most views, you know, like I'll probably get, you know, 50 to 60,000 views. Um, but if I post on a regular basis, it'd probably be like 25 or 30, you know, Did you mean, guys see the H3, H3 hate for releasing a game. You guys see any of that? They're releasing a game. They, are, so they did. They, yeah. uh, and they hadn't posted on their main channel. Hold on. Let me figure out. They'll give you, are the, they, uh, are, are, are they on the decline? I never hear about them. No, anymore. it's his podcast. Well, their podcast He's, kills it. He just They're, was with, uh, Bill Burr. Dude, their podcast. Yeah. So they haven't posted on their main channel in three months. Then they follow come, the money. So they, they come follow back and the they monies. said H three H three Ball Rider is the video, and they released this two minute forty second video on just an it's a it's an app or you know a game that was created for them. Mm-hmm. And then they came and they defended themselves and they wrote, "We've been working super hard in this game for well over a year, and it's been hard to keep it a secret. We hope you guys really enjoy it, and thanks for being patient with us. We're gonna make H three H video H three H three videos again soon. But if you go and like read the comments." It's like, uh, this is like what you used to hate. This is what you always made fun of. Da, 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 da. Like, and then so Ethan, you made me disappointed. So he had to defend himself on Twitter. He's like, I know the timing was kind of bad, but we signed a deal with these guys, you know, a year and a half ago to make this game. And they put like their heart and soul into it. We're not just going to, just because we don't post anymore, not promote it. Yeah, the problem is when you predicate your entire career off of busting other people's balls, when it's all said and done, you're probably going to make decisions or get judged because you're probably going to be contradictory to uh, something you busted somebody's balls for. for sure. Fast. Yeah. Well, you set yourself I mean, up with so up, many clips. What is on with your camera? My camera? You're like down here. I'm chilling. I'm leaning. Do I need uh, to be? Burns. <laughs> j- j- is that better? Perfect example. At least I'm not using the 480p camera. Hold like on. That's camera a right perfect exam- example of what we're talking about is – Burns is always the fucking dude that's like sucked. <laughs> and then right when Jimmy just goes, he fucking it. My, wait, you said mine's four eighty P? What? Mine looks like shit. It doesn't look like shit, but it's really weird and blocky and it's not the normal crisp smooth. It keeps uh, cutting out too. Dirty. Yeah, see on mine it looks you know, it actually looks really clean and, and I can tell there's a slight delay in this. I just I probably just needed a computer reset or something. This is this is crazy, so we got all four of us here. Probably won't happen again for a while. Anything you guys want to say to each other? Uh, I yeah, love you guys. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, let uh-huh. me t- let me talk about this. I'm just kidding. Uh, um, oh, uh, was Michelle Obama and mice? I think. No, no Serena, Serena Williams. Williams. So crazy. Serena Williams is the <laughs> biggest massive cunt I've ever seen in my life. Oh, uh, we're talking about the. Did you see uh, that poor girl get booed? I oh, know, yeah. dude. This all is- because she's the sorest fucking loser ever of all time. And then it turns into race, and then it turns into sex. It, it is- I felt bad for that girl. I watched Me that too. clip. That was some bullshit right yeah. there. Her, oh, dude, this – yeah, I can't – I'll go – I got a good take. Go ahead, Kyle. I'll take it. Well, no, I'm just going to say – and then and then now that everything following – so basically a caricature artist from Australia made a cartoon of Serena um, slamming her racket, jumping on her – jumping on her racket and then the 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 uh ref or whatever they're fucking called is in the background asking the the uh, opponent like hey will you just let her win and this artist ended up having to to delete his twitter because he used caricatures and since the the serena character had large lips it was the most racist fucking thing ever dude and then did you see Kyle that he's like I'm not deleting it and then someone like put 
all these images from the event like next to the cartoon and they were like you pay people to make it this accurate like this is what he did like he yes it's on the line but that's what she looks like but it, that's what i'm saying like is it just so it's okay for somebody to caricature trump and kim yeah. jong-un was the example yeah and then like you know like you know like an asian but like isn't I, I don't i i meant to look at like facts and stuff but like it's pretty well known that you know the like the average Asian Asian person is a little shorter than you know other people, correct? Like and their eyes is that, set a little different. Their eyes, hundred percent. You know, the majority of them look different. Like, is it racist to point that out in a caricature? Like, like that's what I'm kind of like getting at. Like, is it racist to to show somebody that has fucking big? Like, if if somebody caricatured me, I'd see somebody with a big fucking watermelon head big nose, big lips, but am I going to like, it's how I'm not saying, I'm not saying black people in general look like that. That's just how she fucking looks like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to me. Like how much like people can't even like look at reality and it's just blows my mind. Like this dude, he didn't apologize, but you know, he deleted his Twitter. He's just getting fucking annihilated. Um, look what they reprinted. I just sent it in the Skype. They reprinted the, uh, a new one. It says, welcome to the PC world. And it's all the other ones that never got in trouble. Like I was saying, like Trump, yeah. Kim Jong-un, uh, uh, the dude that uh, that touched all those kids, the Michigan State trainer, you know, like they have him, like all it's these caricatures. ones were you, it, you over, or what's it, you, you over exaggerate like characteristics of their body. But then, mm-hmm. so like the U.S. Open crowd was like booing the booing the fuck. What are they called? It's not a ref. It's a line judge or something. Uh, the official, the... the official. Yeah, it's an official. Whatever. Yeah. It is. Like the head official. Like they were booing. Like and it was ridiculous because her coach, even though I apparently, because ten, in tennis you're not allowed to coach from the stands or the U.S. Open, and he was coaching from the stands and he admitted it, but he also said like every coach is coaching from the stands on every every match you know which doesn't and and she just got a warning and that's why she erupted because she's like everybody's gonna think i'm a cheater you need to apologize yada 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 massive fucking cunt funny thing is she's married to the dude who owns reddit reddit and so they've been like cracking down on anything to do with her it's it's pretty funny you know when you're uh you know when you're drunk and you uh you your mind your your mouth talks before your head and you realize what you said and you're like, fuck, I can't back that up. Like you might say something along the lines of like, uh, like this is just a bad example, but like you're with two people and you're like, oh yeah, I used to run a four two forty, And then like you say something like that, but you're like, fuck, I can't back that up. Or like the next morning you're like, oh man, I really crossed that line. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, That's I what do, happened I to do her. That all the time. But That's she what probably happened to her. Apologize. Where, you know, that line when she says, I'm a mom. I don't cheat. Like, you know, that she woke up the next morning or even just a few hours later and was like, fuck, I shouldn't have said that. I, I was don't fine. think so, though, because she's been babied her whole damn life. I don't think she had because she's never I don't think she's ever like there's a huge clip going around of her doing this all the time. I don't think she's ever once like apologized and said like, hey, I took things too far. You know, she's just crazy. She's uh, an entitled cunt. Crazy the timing with Can her being that? like the second face of a. Uh, uh, Kaepernick's ad it's like her you know yeah. well see <laughs> I, I'm I'm a little biased because I told you guys I, I sat there and watched this three hour fucking top hundred hottest women ever in the world and she was number one and I was like what in the fuck is this because that's a hundred percent lie whoever no, come out of that shit is a fucking it's gotta lie be Alex Morgan from the soccer team no it was just in the world it wasn't even fucking athletes oh just it people. wasn't it just people in general <laughs> Yeah, it's that's like a lot. all these fucking Hollywood actresses. She was number one. Halle Berry, Jennifer Anderson. Number fucking one. And I just almost puked. That's crazy. Um, But I was getting at something. Uh, nah, she's just a <laughs> massive cunt. But it's like, it's like, ha- like I, I get it. Like, I've said some dumb shit in like the heat of competition. I typically, and drinking, but I typically apologize and feel like a fucking moron. So, like, one time uh, during this flag football tournament, uh, the dude that runs the league, I'm, you know, I would consider me friends with him because I've been playing in this league for, like, 10 years, and I, you know, always interact with him. I played against him. 
So you wear these flags, right? And they just clip on. It's just a little like a spring clip. And I have this, I, I, I have this flag that I always take with me places because it, it just has an extra strong spring. And I'm like, I kind of like this flag. So we played this tournament and I fucking ran, you know, I caught the ball, you know, juke their whole squad, yada, 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 scored a touchdown. And the his name's Bobby. He came up to me and he goes, let me see your flag. I'm like, oh, look, it's clipped in right. He's like, yeah, it's clipped in right, but let me see how hard it is to pull. And I'm like, what? It's your guys' flag. Like, and uh, so he, he just gave it a little snug and it didn't pull off immediately pulling it like this. And he's like, no touchdown. And it was within like a super heated game where these other, this team that were playing were just complete fucks. And I didn't like them. <laughs> and I go, that's bullshit, Bobby. I'm like, you're a fucking faggot. Like, that is so stupid. I'm using your flag. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You saw it was clipped on like it was supposed to be clipped on. So what the fuck are you? And I called him a faggot like three times. <laughs> and I mean, the heat of competition. It's like I don't normally like argue with people unless it's like the heat of competition. And I just like blatantly will say, but me i actually come back and like apologize and like i said sorry to him well i still say sorry i'm like god damn it bobby remember that one time you were refing that game and i just like went to town on you still sorry for that man like five years later you know what does so, bobby man. say oh he just said it. he's he's been he refs um he runs the league and then he refs sometimes but he's refed a bunch and he knows that people he's not actually gay but he knows that people uh you know heat a competition type things and you know that was yeah, it it was pretty I bad. I would have I would have thrown you out of thrown you out of the game. Well, I mean, but you, yeah, I, I would have too. But the rule was just yeah, the most. I myself. The, it was just the most the dumbest one of the dumbest things I ever heard. You see that I have my flag on correctly. You give it a fucking little tug and says it's too tight. I can't control that. Like I can't control that the flag that you guys have is too tight. Even though it's still you know a spring clip that you know he just gave it a little. You know, a little fag tug. <laughs> that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I called him. Dude, I feel like I feel like referees. You gotta have some thick skin. I, I can see if Jimmy was a referee, like you even look at him wrong, you're gone. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I would, I would totally, Dude, was, I would yeah. totally go power hungry on yeah. everybody. If I had the power. I did it for five years. It's hard. Dude, it's- I've watched. It. Parents are the worst. Oh, that'd be terrible, I'm, dude. Parents just ridicule referee. it's a 50 50 job when you start that game and you do the opening tip off it's 50 50 you're gonna piss off one team and one team's gonna like you and there's no like you never really like here yeah. like you, like even even professionally and like you know you talk about like parents being crazy or like think professionally like when you're watching your team play have you ever said to yourself after a game that refs were really good that game so i was like these refs are fucking garbage yeah no, no, sure. no. you're it never is. yeah if you lose the game the first people that always get blamed are the refs yeah but so what we did at intramurals, so like we had a lot of turnover. Like we'd get a lot of really bad kids who were just looking for a job, you know? And you basically just had to like teach them to be consistently bad. If yeah. you're consistent and you miss like all the inside calls, like every time someone gets the ball in the paint in intramurals, you could probably call a foul. <laughs> but instead yeah. of calling a foul every time, like only call the like 10 out of 10 but skip all the yeah. middle ones. i mean I, I can understand like as long as the refs are consistent both ways like i usually won't have any complaints but like i just think like watching watching like the wild play in hockey like there'll be games where I'm, like the ref there's different referees who will ref games differently some refs will let certain things go some refs will call it really tight and so there'll be games where, like god they're not calling anything tonight this is bullshit and then like and that's the best ref like that's an uh, nhl ref is probably uh, you know i'm not high paid but he's the highest paying ref I mean, I mean full time jobs. I'm like the NFL. I don't think has full time referees. I don't think they're full time. No, because the I think main, they just changed it. I think they yeah, the pa- the Pac-12, the lead Pac-12 basketball official, actually did the Super Bowl like three years ago. Whatever his name is, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's it's just kind of funny. Like so for our flag football league, which is just a men's league bullshit league. You know, they just pick up, take whatever refs they can get. You know, yeah. and then we'll we'll sit there and complain about the refs. But then this year they got this dude who's just like hundred percent. So like. After every touchdown, you can either go for one or two. You know, if somebody on your team is like, eh, I, th- I think we'll go, for, like, I think we'll go for two. And, you know, a lot of the times, we'll, you know, somebody will say that before we come to a conclusion with the team, like what we want to do. Like this dude was like, nah, he said you got to go for two. You got, you know, he, you got, he declared two. You have to go for two or call a timeout. And we're just like, dog, this is fucking like, it, it, you know, you want a good ref, but you're like, then you're like, this is fucking men's league. Game. You know, you'll get mad about shit, but then when he calls it like a super clean game by like the rules, you you're kind of <laughs> like, eh, we don't usually do that here. You know, like he's just like he had his like 
like other dudes look like they just showed up and like threw on a striped jersey and like were like fuck let me let me get my 25 bucks and get out of here you usually get the, you get you see the refs though that take it super oh, serious so that like, was this dude yeah. that was this fucking guy he had his like w-i-a-a certification on his fucking <laughs> no. shoulder and shit like it was he had like hand signals oh like, yeah like wouldn't yeah. let wouldn't let people you couldn't wear your hat forward which is you know only a couple people wear hats i don't but and it's well, like that's what it's like but like uh you can't like but there's like men's league hockey in the in minnesota river or anywhere actually is that uh you can't just be like just like a volunteer ref you have to be trained by usa hockey yeah it's but yeah, like here it's uh, just like they just hire who you know you want to make 25 bucks a game here uh, yeah know? there's levels to it so in uh for aau basketball uh you have to go do a whole nother like certification where yeah. you have a guy who like critiques you and then tells you like what you do bad and you even if you feel like you reffed a really good game you still get 25 minutes afterwards looking at his bullshit yeah. note you're just like man fuck i've never seen you ref a game like get yeah. off me dude and it's so the you kind of rough that, the kind of refs that i like and i'm sure like happens in basketball too but in hockey if like they make a bullshit call and they know it was a bullshit call is they'll make it up Oh, for yeah, sure. They'll, they'll, they'll balance it out. out. They'll balance it out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. As long as you know, if you're consistent, that's the only way you can be a ref is if you just I've seen, like, consistently I've, bad, be consistently bad. Don't try and, and fake I've it. Seen, like, I've seen like a ref like be so certain of his call and like get yelled at by the coach from the bench. And then he watches the replay during the intermission and comes back to like, yeah, I fucked that one up. I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. Yeah. See, that's the yeah. type of ref I would be. If people were like yeah. saying shit, I'd be like, yeah. I fucked it up, dude. Like, uh, you know, I'll be better next time. Like, what do you want me to do? Uh, I, I would definitely be dropping the line. Like, dog, this is fucking men's, men's league, league flag yeah, football. Yeah, I'm I trying to call. I'm trying to call a good game. That's always like uh, shut the fuck up. It's always my like go-to line when people like try super hard in games like that too. I'd be like, oh man, you you're showing off for the scouts in the stands. Man. It's fucking yeah. no one there. You know, it's like a men's league game. It's yeah. like super, I like to laugh like at people bad. at that, but then when I get, you know, I start playing flag football. You know, you're in the moment and you're just get like super serious. Yeah, you take it yeah, like super the serious. Best, uh, it reminds the best, me of super bad, dude. Like, hey, it's fucking PE soccer, dude. Calm down. The best, uh, <laughs> the best uh, thing to say to someone like in like just like pick up hockey or like a men's league. So most people wear like full cages, but some people wear like the clear plastic ones because they feel like they can see better in them. And they'll be like talking shit to you. And like the goal to, if they're talking shit to you, a guy wearing like a plastic face shield or whatever is be like, dude, roll your window down. I can't hear you. <laughs> Get him with some wipers. Uh. <laughs> so do you, uh, yeah, that I couldn't imagine being a ref anymore after doing it for so long. I mean, I got, I had a guy said he was going to kick my ass in the parking lot. And he actually, <laughs> He actually tried to meet you out there. Yeah, then he then he had to write me a letter to get back into the league. He was one of their team's best players. His name is Zach Cooper. What uh, did the letter say? Cooper. Uh, he said that you know it was the they it was the two best teams playing each other, and so there was a fast break, and then the guy like went to undercut him. So the guy I, I threw out he but the guy who went to undercut him like pulled off and just the guy thought he was going to undercut him, so he just like didn't shoot the layup and just ran out of bounds. So I called a travel and I pointed the other way and he's like, are you fucking kidding me? Are like, are like, are you blind? I'm like, did he touch you? And I was like, no. And he's like, he was coming from my legs. And I was like, but he never touched you. I was like, I'll protect anybody, but you got to like, what do you want me to call here? And then he slammed the ball. I didn't team up for slamming the ball. And then I was like, all right, red ball, whatever it was. And like, I gave, I handed it off. And then he was tripping the whole way back. And then he said something like, he said something and it was right in front of the other team's bench. And I like, I had to defend my honor. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm just like, Burr! I'm like, uh, fives, fives out. That's, that's a technical. We get a sub for him. And then that's when he was like, he's a little short five, five black dude, pretty buff. And he just comes up and he's like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Like, I'm a fuck. And then like, so luckily his guy, like I knew everybody there. We live in a small college, like town. I knew everybody there. They're like, they're kind of holding him back. And then he puts, he takes his shoes off, you know, puts on his backpack and he's just kind of like lingering around the game still going on. And as he's walking on the baseline, he's like, you motherfucker, see me in the parking lot. I'm like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> like, whatever. And so like I asked the other team, I'm like, hey, will you guys walk me out? And they're like, oh yeah, we know him. He's not going <laughs> to Sure enough, we get to the parking lot. There he is. He's like, hey, motherfucker. I'm like, oh, oh shit. No. But his letter, his letter was just like, hey, heat of the moment. I thought he slid under me. I thought you just no called it. Like, Yada yada yada. Uh, well, I the thing is, he, he realized that, like you know, he just went with it. Once it doesn't called... matter if he's in the heat of the moment and shanks Colby in the parking yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, that's like when we uh, got, played that game last year where I fucking just chucked that kid. 
And oh, yeah. like, he's like, I'm going to fight you in the parking lot when we're done. Like he's, and he's just like a tiny little fucking chihuahua. And then we're just sitting there the whole game. It was, that was like in like the first quarter. And he's just sitting out there in the parking lot, like waiting for me. <laughs> it was just like, and then right before, right when the game ended, cause actually he said he had to wait in the parking lot. And then, you know, the team, their team was apologizing to us about him. And uh, I was like, is he really going to like stand over there and like fight me? Like, like he's a douche, but I don't necessarily feel like fighting. And he's like, nah, he's like, he's waiting for a ride from me. I'm like, oh, okay. So he did wait in the parking lot, technically. Yeah. I feel like people that like get calm when I hear the moment, like Kyle, you were saying earlier, you were like heat of the moment yelling stuff. You probably wouldn't. If it wasn't like the adrenaline going the game, and oh. then, like after the game's over, the adrenaline wears off, and you're like, "That was fun." I'm like, I'm like, that's yeah, why I felt like Serena yeah. until you said that one point, Kyle, how she's done it her whole life. But they, I, I feel like you can't get a better example than you know, heat of the moment, drunk, like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have said that. That's what yeah. when, she, yeah. when she said the line, "I don't cheat, I'm a mother, I'm a mom." I was like, oh, cr- like, I have a kid. Yeah, I'm setting like, an example. I would never mean? do that. Like, you need to apologize. What does that mean? Just because yeah. you have a kid doesn't mean you cheat. I cheated Monopoly like two weeks ago and I have a kid. Yeah. It was fucking great. But I the won. thing is, she got a... Like, nobody necessarily... She was just getting her ass whooped. And nobody necessarily said she was cheating. She, she He said your coach was coaching. It doesn't mean... She, she. I don't think she actually even saw him, you know? But she, she just got a warning for coaching. Like, that's not fucking How? cheating. How does... How does a coach necessarily uh, like? It's a what stupid are you coaching rule. If you can't coach, it's what a stupid rule coach? that you can't coach during the fucking match in tennis. But I mean, all he was doing was like this, like just giving her like lanes or something. And she, I don't think she even saw him, you know. But she definitely just like she ride or die, man. She fucking just played with it. Um, but speaking of death and destruction, Mac Miller. No, keys, baby. I talked about that on my own show. Um, so we have this we have this uh, monster of a fifth wheel trailer. The trailer has mice in it, not Uh-oh. inside of the not inside of of the coach, but in the storage. But I, in the storage clothes, I don't know how they're getting in there. But you don't mice don't fuck with me, right? So I had to wage a war. So with mice, I knew there's these things that existed called these like sticky pads where they run over it and they stick to it, right? They also have, you know, I started off with Mice Trap getting a bunch, and uh, I was like, I was like, all right, we're just going to go all out on these motherfuckers with, de- the, you know, hit them with different angles, right? So they got these uh, sticky pads, and oh my God, are they fucking sad. Like, I open the, the storage, and there's one stuck on, the, like, the sticky pad, like, like, just, like, barely, like, laboring, breathing, and just, like, completely stuck to it. And now, the the purpose of it is, I mean, I don't know the purpose, because I, I tried to, like, get it off, so I, because you could tell it was just, like, exhausted. I'm like, I want to just flick it off and let it run back into the woods. <laughs> but, like, you can't, it's so stick. Actually, the first one got stuck. I had two others in there that you could tell a mouse got stuck to it, fucking piss and shit all over it like the whole thing because it's like a smooth sticky service like you could tell because then it was like way back in the back of the storage i'm like god damn like whatever mouse got stuck on this had a rough night but (laughs) it it actually got off the two of them i guess they're known to do that but two of them like two different pads and two different nights got stuck to it so i'm kind of dumped the pads because i'm basically just fucking them up and now they're they're getting off um but so yeah i'm just sitting there watching this one like labored breathing and i'm like man i can't just throw it away in the garbage like still alive so i just close the storage and you know you know come back a couple hours later still thing still same thing it's just sitting there like just labored breathing it looks like it's crying and stuff but i didn't you know i'm like fuck well this is even this is just weird so i just put it in a garbage bag and put it in my garbage like Aww. just super sad even though they're fucking up my stuff you can but... get humane mouse traps where it just catches them inside this little like tunnel oh i know i know i i was i was pretty fired up about them fucking my sounds shit like up. the sticky one's pretty inhumane <laughs> oh super like there's nothing like i so now that so you know like the old school like wooden ones like i started off with that and i'm just like I'm like afraid to set those ones. Like just Crack like, their neck. I'm like, uh, yeah. am I going to set it? Like, am I, it's going to go off when I drop it on the ground. Um, but then they have the ones that actually, I got one last night. It's a plastic one. And you just, it's like a big clip, basically a plastic clip. And you just hold it down and it sets itself. And because one so of the wood ones, one of the wood ones I set last night 
didn't go off, but all the peanut butter is gone. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a that's a that's a a sin or a, a very very expert mouse. I remember when we were kids when the wooden ones go off. You go in there, and the, the mouse is like eyes are bulged out of his head, yeah. his tongue sticking out of his mouth because it cracked his neck. Yeah. So yeah. this those one, things, those will break your finger. Oh yeah, yeah, they will for sure. Well, these plastic ones, I'm like, how hard could it be? And I hit it, but they actually their top is like a so it's like a basically just looks like a. Almost like uh, uh, for like jumper cables, you know, you know, like the clip on those. But there's like one kind of like, you know, not even a full spike, but a plastic, you know, kind of comes to a point. And I, I was like, I wonder if this really hurts. And I fucking did it. And it hit right on my fingernail. I'm like, holy fuck, that hurt. Like, imagine like, so the point of it is just like hit on the back of their neck and just put them out instantly. But that was way easier because it's a clip. And then you pick it up by the clip. You go flick it in the woods, and then you just go set it within two seconds. Like I don't like the old school wooden one where it's like, like I don't know. It's just like you, is, you have to throw the whole thing away because I ain't fucking I ain't uh, taking. This is gonna be sound like super inhumane. So like this is back like when I was really. Uh, I'm excited wild. where this is gonna go. Yeah, a lot younger, and my parents' house had had mice in it, and you know you got to get rid of them as soon as possible because then they breed and then you got a shitload of them. And they were basically like in the laundry room mostly, but like you'd, you know, we'd catch a few here and there in the traps. And I w- my room was down in the basement. And I'm just sitting there like playing video games when I see the fucking little white mouse like crawling along like a almost, white like, one? Yeah, it was like a white one or something. Oh. Like a little small, like a little white, white one. And it was like crawling like near my dresser. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get this motherfucker by myself. And like he like started to move behind the dresser, so I tried to like shove my dresser up against the wall and like smash. It. Oh my god! But they can fit to such tiny places. He's just squirming through, and I can't get him. They can fit all. through a hole like the size of an eraser. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So that I, I can't get this mouse, and he's just kind of like squirming around. I'm like kind of like watching for him to see if I can get him. I was like, oh fuck it, he's gonna hit a trap in the laundry room, whatever. And we'll just let him sit there. And then like later that night when I'm going to bed, it's like right at the ba- right at the bottom step. And it's just like tucked into the corner, like sleeping. So I grabbed my hockey stick and just fucking packed oh it in the back God. of the head. Picked it up and flicked it outside. Did he explode it? <laughs> no, it just like broke its neck and then I just took it Jesus out. Christ, dude. <laughs> Colby, why do you have hardwood flooring on your wall? It's grunge. Like it's modern. It's pretty sick, huh? Modern grunge. Colby. It's a uh it's a uh, accent wall. Take your hat off real quick. Fully out. Let yeah. Let that. Let the hair fall down on like on oh, the side. Oh, you're throwing it out. Uh, so you know the movies, the Wedding Crashers. Yeah. Uh, the son, the son <laughs> that's in love with. <laughs> uh, he does it's look like him. Oh my god. It, I mean, it looks good when you do it up, but when you got it thrashed like that, that's all I can think about. When I whenever I see somebody's hair go over like their eyes, I'm like, like the like the yeah. insane son from uh, Wedding Crashers that's like sleeps in like, like his bed. Little Nikki too when I get out of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh hey Arya. Hey girlfriend. She almost made it the whole hours. Well, dang, we're fifty that went fast. Fifty three minutes deep. But uh what are we gonna title the show? Oh hey, I forgot to show you guys. LeBron James is on Ellen. Uh I opened this and she puts a kiwi in front of him and then his, he's blindfolded and she's like, What's that? And he's like, Kiwi. And then uh, she's like, how'd you do it as a Kiwi? He's like, well, at first I thought it was ass, but I'm like, Ellen wouldn't do that to me. Ass? So LeBron, LeBron admitted that he eats ass on Ellen. <laughs> Wait, he had to put yeah. it on his face? Yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you. Hold on. I was going to talk about it, and I completely, well, we got, we got a good flow. I wasn't going to mess the flow up. So Sounds I was hoping that we could title it LeBron James Eats Ass. Oh, there perfect. Go. There it is. Well, yeah, <laughs> now we've so, talked about it. That's an awesome title for a sponsored Le- show. <laughs> LeBron James eats booty. Uh, there you go. Can we call it that? <laughs> Can we call it that, Jimmy? Please. Do whatever you want. I'm not your daddy. Look. I'm just a guest on the show. It's Kyle's show. You're the, uh, you're the accountant that occasionally shows up. The I'm show. the behind the scenes guy that it tries to explain when we F up. That's it. <laughs> hey, uh, you're like, you covered us that one time when we forgot to read the ad twice. Yeah, it's twice. I mean, I'm sure you're just like, you're not here for like an extended period of time and you hear like, you're like, you always know we got ads. Like, you get this copy, you get this copy. Yeah. Then I just sort of like, did you read the ad? No, we didn't. No, we I'm didn't sure, do it. I'm sure you're just like, ma, now we can actually do something. Uh, Jimmy, also, uh, like they said on YouTube, man, you can take a little vacation from the show. It works. Yeah. You come back. You can't, we can't make fun of you now. YouTube said it. 
Burns can't make fun is of a me. habit. Just gotta have Burns, it. Burns misses almost as much as I do. Hey, Kyle, said know, it. man. Kids, YouTube is a fuck freaking manipulative. Just genius. oh, she looked at you like, don't talk like that. <laughs> so there's this one. There's a company company called Bounce Patrol, and they just make like kid content. You know, they get in the search for, like search results and everything. They have a video that in less than like four months has 774, wait for it, million views. <laughs> what? And if she just hears it, if she just hears it, watch, she'll start clapping. Watch this. This is crazy. Oh, let's see. Now she wants the phone. She didn't even know how to clap until this show came, this baby shark thing happened. Right? I oh, baby no shark? Clapping. Yeah. And oh, now, Brady too, dude. Well, now she's looking at it, but yeah, I was like, it's "Oh, you're brainwashing, like, man." It's yeah, it's brainwashing. Crazy. We're all fucked. LeBron James eats booty. Woo -woo. All right, all right. Go. Oh, have a good day, like guests. Hey, Thanks for coming on the show, yeah, guests. Invite us back on, man. It's all right, oh, you want to go to Chick Fil A? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna load her, getting her to start loaded up because it takes me about 15 minutes. All right, cool. All right. Have a good night. Have a Jimmy, good leave day. Us, leave us with something positive, Jimmy. Burns is a mouse killer, like on another level. Yeah, you, serial killer. Bye. You never know, man.